welcome to another episode of eTraining Guides. Today we're going to be going over SCM 2207 upgrade and the steps that we need to take to um, upgrade to 2207. And um, so the requirements are um, you need to be at least 2103 or later in SCCM, uh, .NET 4.8 on all your site's system servers, uh, Visual C++ 2013 version, um, and the version is listed there. And for your DP, um, you should already have that version if you are keeping up with your updates. Uh, Windows 11 80K, uh, depending if you're going to be supporting 21H2 or uh, 21 or 22H2. Um, so I'll link uh, the Microsoft article down below uh, in terms of the versions that you need to be at for Windows 11 support. Uh, SQL 2014 or later. And it will support Windows 8.1 or later on the desktop side and on the server side. You can do 2020. 12 or 2 or later. Um, there's some notes on that, so I'll put the link in the article below in terms of those notes related to some of the older operating system. I think there's a couple of deprecated features we're going to find out when we do the prerequisites. Um, and so with that, and then uh, just to go over what's new, just a handful folder for ADRs, uh, improved dark mode in 2207. It was released in 2203, which I've enabled. Um, um, better improved uh, Microsoft Defender, improved improvement in the console and enhanced control over monthly micro uh, window um, uh, maintenance windows. So I'll go over that a little bit, um, but I just wanted to highlight just a few. Uh, I'll link the article from Microsoft of all the new features that are released in 21, oops, I'm sorry, 22H2. So 20, 22H7, uh, that's where we're at. So let's, with that, let's just get started. So I'm going to log into my SCSIM server. I'm going to start the prerequisite because this is a big upgrade, so I want to do the prerequisites. So we're going to go ahead and um, download this thing. So we click on download. And when it's available, I'll do the prerequisite check. I also have the SCSIM console in dark mode, which is the 2203 version. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let me know if you like the dark mode, if you're able to see it. Uh, are you guys using it? Uh, do you like it? Don't like it? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and let me know. I'll probably do like a quick little shorts on how to enable dark mode. Um, and then you can always switch back by coming up here and switching to console theme. Um, so let me know if you like the dark mode. Um, it's got its, you know, you can see pretty much what's going on. I, I, I kind of like it, but um, let me know what you guys think. All right, so now it's available to install. So I'm going to run the prerequisite check. And there it goes. And then, of course, if you want to monitor it. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, you can see it shows up, and you can just click on Show Status. And it'll just tell you where it's at. And uh, so it's going to take some time. And then also the log file you want to open is uh, Config Manager Setup Log. And it'll update that as well as... Uh, couple other log files you want to look at but that's the main one I look at um, all right so I did a prerequisite check and there's a warning or um, not an error but a warning so let's see what the warning is so we're gonna scroll down here and yep uh, let's see this is yep chain tracking so I got to fix that that's the only thing. So this is what we're going to do to fix that. So we're going to minimize. Uh, actually, I'm going to be. All right, so I connected to the admin. Uh, you just click on the new query and type admin colon and then your database. And you can see it's uh, 14. So we're going to change that. So it's got to be five or less. So we're going to do that. Um, and since my database is kind of small, it probably won't take that long. Okay, so now it's two. So now we can go ahead and close this out and do the prerequisite check again. So we'll come over here. And I'm gonna go over to administration and run prerequisite check again. All right, so now that the I uh, fixed the sequels, you can see prerequisite check passed. So if I go back over here and there it is, it passed. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the update pack. OK. 
Okay, ignore warnings. Um, you can add some additional things here if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and take the default. You can always turn these on later. Uh, update without validating. Now you can uh, do this upgrade and validate and do a pre-production collection if you wanted to do that. I'm just going to do it without validating. I've never really had any issues with the agent, so. Uh, but every environment's different. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Make sure that when you start this that you back up your SQL Server in case there's any issues, and I've already done that, so I just wanted to make note of that. So it's going to go ahead and do the install. Um, after the install completes, you'll have to update your console, and then there's a new version of the client that will need to go out. Um, all right, so as you can see, the um, 2207 is now installed. Let's see. Yeah, so there you go. Now it closes that out. Now it's going to upgrade the console to the 2207. And then you'll need to upgrade the console wherever you have it installed. If you have it installed in some jump boxes or on your laptop or what have you, uh, I, I would just go ahead and um, upgrade those. Now it should automatically upgrade when you launch the console and see that it has a later version. And it should automatically upgrade to the newer console. So that's what it's doing right now. The next step is... Um, Updating the ADK, or the boot image, that is, um, and or the ADK. I, but I believe I upgraded my ADK to the latest version when I upgraded to 2203. So, um, so the console's back up, and as you can see, I got some notification. There is a new update available, which is the 2111, which we're not going to do. Uh, we need to, um, I've got some clients that are running an older version of Windows 10. It's no longer supported, so I'll have to address those. Um, the, all right, so I'm installing the hotfix first because that was released in September and then I'll be installing the hotfix rollup which was released on November 17th. So I'm going to go ahead and install the hotfixes and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, to that one. Okay, so let me just do redistribute. All right, now it's in progress. All right, all right so now that's complete. So we're going to go over to the package, make sure that package has been replicated. Um, the client upgrade package or the client package manager. So we have success. Okay. So that's good. So we got the client upgrade package ready. So now it's just a matter of getting the clients upgraded to, um, so if we go to monitoring, uh, client status, production client deployment. So this is uh, the current version, 988.10.23. We got a couple in progress and you know eventually we'll get everything upgraded to the new client. And that's basically it for 22 oh seven uh client upgrade and so next we'll do the 2211 and go over some features now they did say there were some improvements with the uh, dark mode um it looks about the same to me but if i wanted to switch it back to white mode i could just do this or, or regular and then just uh, the next time i launch um so i don't know it's it's just different i think i can just see things a little bit better it's not as contrasty with all the white background uh, it's just a lot of light uh, for me. At any rate, so um, I'm going to leave some information for you down in the description of the upgrade steps. Um, some information from Microsoft in terms of some of those notes uh, related to the upgrade, the versions uh, of the operating system that supported SQL and all that stuff. So I'll leave that with you um, down below. Anyway, this is the last video of 2022. I hope you guys had a great year. I'll see you next year, 2023, with some more content. So please stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing if you like the content you're seeing. There's going to be a lot more coming your way. Again, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.